Hey, Viloe, I've been watching since July with my telescopes here, the Three Eye Atlas live, raw images, just not pictures, just watching it, very excited with it, all the days that I could. But I'm a simple amateur astronomer. I'm a regular citizen. I'm not a space agency or other institution that should provide that information for us. And everybody is wondering why are they pre like feeling like pretending that they it's not important. At the first moment, they said it's a comet without any explanation and without knowing it. And now the most important, they keep the high rise images that are so important, a 30 kilometer pixel resolution with them and ghosting you what's happening here yeah i'm really surprised by that because um, science is a uh, privilege uh, we should uh, allow ourselves to be curious about things in nature and rely on data guiding us so it's all about collecting data and learning from it but uh, you know experts uh, very often they base their reputation, their stature on past knowledge, and they want to pretend they know the answer in advance and they speak as an authority telling you what the answer is. Uh, I'm trying to advocate humility. You know, we are getting objects from outside the solar system. We shouldn't assume that they are the same as the rocks that we have in our backyard. Uh, just like getting objects from the street, you know, one of them might be a tennis ball thrown by a neighbor. That's all I'm saying. Let's be curious, especially when the object doesn't seem to look like the typical kind of rock that we have in our backyard. So 3 I Atlas has nine anomalies, according to my list on uh, uh, medium.com. I keep uh, providing updates about it. Uh, the best image we could have had of 3 I Atlas was obtained on October 3rd. Uh, or October 2nd, October 3rd, 2025, by the high-rise camera on board the Mass Reconnaissance Orbiter. We know that these images were taken. They're held hostage to the government shutdown in the US. Now, I ask, how difficult is it for, to just share that data? It should be straightforward. A graduate student at the University of Arizona could do that. The principal investigator is a professor at the University of Arizona. Now, of course, they might be under contract and they have to wait until NASA gives them the green light. But it just doesn't make sense to hold science hostage to the politics of the day. Why? Because we need, this is time sensitive data that could guide the way we do the observations in the coming weeks. Uh, it's something that should be analyzed so that perhaps it will affect the way we analyze future data or collect future data. Science is based on uh, transparency, on uh, sharing of all the information we have. And here we have the best images that uh, we can hope for because, you know, the object 3 I Atlas came within 30 million kilometers of Mars. So it was very close to the high-rise camera, much closer than it was from the Hubble Space Telescope when the previous highest resolution image was obtained. So we should get uh, 30 kilometers per pixel in the high-rise image compared to uh, more than 100 kilometers per pixel in the Hubble image. So it's a significant improvement. And also we are looking at the object from the side uh, because it was on its path towards the sun and, and, and Mars was looking at it sideways. So it's new information and I just cannot understand. I sent uh, a request to the principal investigator of uh, the high-rise camera team um, in, uh, at the University of Arizona. I didn't get a reply. I, I communicated with uh, uh, Representative Anna Paulina Luna and she submitted a letter to the acting administrator of NASA and uh, Sean Duffy and he did not respond, nor to me, nor to her letter. He instead responded to Kim Kardashian who inquired uh, about 3A Atlas. And uh, I uh, wrote afterwards that I, I very much welcome Kim Kardashian to my research team because she shows cur curiosity. You know, that's what should drive us all. Rather than pretend and lecture the public about what we know, you know, comets are unusual, comets are different from each other. This could be a comet of a type that we've never seen before, but it's a comet. Instead of doing that, let's just be curious. 
collect as much data as possible and figure it out. Why do we need to show, uh, to pretend that we are expert to uh, surrender to the politics of the day in preventing the dissemination of data? You know, that goes beyond me. I simply don't, maybe I'm naive and, you know, the, this is the way uh, people are, but I, I don't accept that. I think um, we should all be straightforward and try to figure out things. And if we uh, allow some possibilities to be on the table, then if someone has an issue with that, show me the data, explain those anomalies, and we will move on. It's not about personal conflict. It's not about attacking me for saying this or saying that. It's more about figuring out what 3 i Atlas is. That should be the objective. Let's keep our eyes on the ball. Yeah, but uh, we, and I say we because me and many others, it's suspicious. We can't uh, avoid to, to feel that. It's suspicious to see, for instance, this post here um, to Kim Kardashian. And it's uh, even a benevolent uh, post because he explained her, but she's smart and he is he's explaining her. So Sean Duffy, like uh, to a kid, like three equals the third. I equals, inter you know, and... I, I bet that Kim Kardashian listened to all people saying, oh God, this should be an alien or something. This is very weird. And that was the, the meaning of that post asking to the NASA administrator. But something that I, I, I get um, with other people um, annoyed is why did he didn't, uh, they didn't uh, answer your letter that is super important from a representative of... A Republican uh, Congresswoman Luna, and instead is on next answering this kind of posts. Why are they adding it? It's the big question that we want. The motive. Why are they adding it? Should be a motive here. Well, it's interesting because uh, you might say, well, he responded to Kim Kardashian because it's a public outreach opportunity for NASA to show that you know, to show to people that NASA is at the frontier of science. But at the same time, not allowing the image to be disseminated, to, to be shared with scientists, is also a public outreach, uh, you know, uh, opportunity. Uh, uh, if they don't do it, they miss that opportunity. And uh, therefore, uh, it's actually worse because uh, they've been holding it for hostage for over a month now. And I'm just saying for the same reason that, you think that you should, I have no issue with uh, him replying to Kim, but uh, I would argue that uh, there is no reason, obvious reason why data that exists on a computer at the University of Arizona cannot be shared with other computers. That doesn't require much electricity, much uh, 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 investment of funds. It doesn't violate any anything uh, in the narrative of NASA. Uh, all it requires is sharing something that already exists. It doesn't quite work. Uh, and by the way, NASA does release data continuously about other things. It's not as if they stopped operations. We have zero data coming from NASA. There are, there are, you know, even the, the rovers uh, have some images that you know are being shared all the time. And um, uh, the European Space Agency, obviously, they were transparent. Within a matter of a week, they released what they have. Uh, the other nations that are not releasing any interesting information maybe is because they don't have assets uh, similar to the high-rise camera. So I don't fully understand it. I think it's some people are playing politics with the, uh, with the government shutdown, but it's not. I don't think it's the right uh, approach to dealing with science. Right. Uh, it's an apothesis. To, because we don't know, you don't know why they they didn't they ghosted you basically, right, right. and it, you know that just a phone call could solve that. Yeah, but, they could have also explained. In other words, I could have gotten a message saying, "Look, message. this is a, a result of a government shutdown, and by contract, we are not obligated, we are not allowed by law to do this or that." I didn't get an explanation, nor did the public. They could have put some kind of a statement why this is not happening. Now, it's most likely related to the government shutdown. I don't think uh, they're hiding it because of the content of the data. And uh, presumably, with the, as soon as the government shutdown is over, we will get access. It's just unfortunate that it's delayed because we could have used it. I have a collaborator where we were planning to analyze this data and infer what it means. 
And uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Yeah, but it's highly suspicious that they hide those important because it's super important. All scientists, not only a Viloy, for the people that don't understand very well how this works, all scientists will grab those pictures and start working o over them, doing scientific papers, the ones that do scientific papers, others will be on networks, but they, the real scientists will be working over the, those pictures. The thing is, that's an hypothesis, and we work over hypotheses. That's an hypothesis, maybe it's some kind of playing politics here, it's viable, but there's another hypothesis. Imagine that they watch the, the team that grabbed the first ones, the, there should be a team there in Arizona, that grabbed the first images, raw images, they downloaded them, and they watched them, and maybe they saw something that surprised them. Maybe something, for instance, like this. I'm not claiming anything. This is a, a picture that I took pointing to GPL Horizons coordinates from NASA nearby the sun. And I just found this. I can't claim this is three atlas, of course, because I don't have stars to say to me the exact coordinates. It was in the field of view and people were grabbing this, uh, this picture. Imagine just a supposition that something weird like this was into, in front of them and they call call called Sean and they called Sean and Sean watched the picture and or the pictures and said, oh man, this looks like a freaking alien spaceship. Who else knows about this? Nobody. Shut up. Don't tell anything. I will shield this and then we'll, we'll see what to do. That is also a viable hypothesis and people speculate over that because they don't simply don't talk. Right. Now, I, you know, I prefer to give the benefit of the doubt and say it's just the clumsy behavior of bureaucrats that they want to maintain, you know, government shutdown and therefore do not share data. That, that, that is all along my approach, just because I don't want to blame them of doing it on purpose. And uh, we will find out eventually because the government shutdown will be over. They will have no excuse at that point, but to release it. So, Uh, in the meantime, I should say in the coming weeks, it should be really interesting because 3i Atlas uh, showed the non-gravitational acceleration uh, just um, a few days ago. Uh, that's based on data from ALMA, uh, the millimeter wave observatory in Chile uh, that uh, found it to be separated, uh, offset by four arc seconds from the expected path. And uh, that means uh, that it showed some non-gravitational acceleration that uh, Uh, and then uh, uh, there were some uh, solar observatories that um, uh, looked at, uh, the, uh, at it uh, close to the sun and found it to get extremely bright, much more, uh, much faster than comets that were looked at before from the solar system. And also uh, it became bluer than the sun. Now, of course, the a natural way of explaining all of these facts is to say, oh, it lost a lot of mass as a result of coming close to the sun being warmed up by the solar radiation, I calculated that in order to explain the non-gravitational acceleration, the object must have lost, if it's a comet, a natural comet, it must have lost at least a sixth of its mass. And um, that's a, a substantial amount of mass, uh, you know, like uh, there should be a very massive cloud of gas around it, which weighs at least five uh, billion tons. And uh, we should see it clearly. It will be very bright and massive once the object comes out of uh, the direction of the sun. So we can look at it from Earth. Right now, you know, until recently, it was hiding behind the sun uh, when it came closest to the sun. So uh, this would be an easy way to tell the nature of the object, because if it lost 17% of its mass, uh, we are not just uh, uh, ablating the skin of the object, we are actually ablating a significant fraction of the mass of the object. So it means we are getting a, a probe uh, closer in to the object. So we will know if it's uh, just an icy uh, rock or, or, or something else. If we don't see that amount of massive uh, cloud of gas, very bright uh, coma around it, then uh, the question is what gave it that uh, non-gravitational acceleration? Was it some propulsion device, like some engine? And maybe that uh, was also responsible for the blue color that we obtained. Uh, so um, I think the next few weeks are really exciting, irrespective of what happens with the high-res camera, because you can't hide uh, information these days uh, about something in the sky. You know, we are not in the days of Galileo Galilei, where he 
developed the first astronomical telescope, looked at uh, Jupiter. Nobody else uh, did that. And then the Vatican was able to suppress his voice by putting him in house arrest. Now you can't do that. The, you know, there were already 227 observatories around the globe that looked at Tria Atlas. And as soon as it comes away from the sun, you know, in, in a week or two, uh, hundreds of observatories will look at it including the uh, Webb telescope eventually in December and the Hubble telescope. So we will get plenty of data in the coming weeks. And um, the government has no way of uh, uh, affect, you know, affecting the dissemination of that data. We'll see, because if in the past they were burning people, right now they burn them socially. And if in the past they enclosure people at home, like Galileo Galilei, Now they do that, they put you and people like you against the wall. Against Yeah, that, but, that. but you can you can do it to me, that's no problem. But it's not mm. a, first of all, it's not about me, it's about this object. And mm. there are many people in other parts of the world that have telescopes. So you just can't go around the world and suppress all these telescopes from looking at the uh, three atlas. So it's there it's impossible. And therefore, we will know what this object is, irrespective of what is being said about me. Love it.